Hey guys, it's Shannon the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center. I am on location here with Sabrina and we are going to spray nematodes for white grubs in the lawn. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Sabrina is here. She is filling the hose and sprayer with just plain water and she's put four of those containers into our clean bucket. Then she is going to open the nematode package, hopefully. <laughs> and inside is a sponge. She's going to put the sponge in the water. These guys are microscopic little organisms, I guess. Yeah. Beneficial bugs. Okay, she's going to open that up. She's going to put that in there. She's going to even wash, uh, we'll wash the little bag out too, just to make sure we get all put over the bucket. Just to get all the nematodes out. We can even leave that bag probably in the water. So put the sponge in, squish it around. These aren't harmful to us or your pets or anything else. They're completely natural and they only go after bad bugs. They won't hurt anything. They won't hurt earthworms, nothing like that. Okay, so while that's sitting in there soaking, she's going to put also a few drops of food coloring in it. Why we put food coloring in it is because this hose end sprayer will always be, always be continuously full. So if we put some food coloring in the water, that just colors the water enough so we know when it's in the hose end sprayer, when it goes clear, we need to refill with this concentrate we've just created. Okay, so I'll give it one more, one more squish. Okay, and we'll start pouring in. Okay, so, yeah, maybe do that. See if we can get it full. Yep, and so you can see the blue water in there. That's just the food coloring. We're going to put the hose end on. I will kink the hose with one hand here for her. There we go. We'll put the hose end on. Can you get it? Ish. And turn the black switch off too before we turn, before I let go. Okay, so we have it turned off so it doesn't come spraying out when we undo, when I undo this hose here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to put this bucket up on this deck here just so it doesn't, we don't knock it over. Okay, so turn it on then, Serena. Yep. Can you get it? Ish. There we go. Okay, so now... She's just gonna spray the whole lawn. You can spray the garden. You spray everything back and forth motions like she's doing. And she's spraying the whole lawn and garden and we'll keep going over it. This one package of nematodes does 3,000 square feet. Looks like this. Does 3,000 square feet. So we're gonna go over, it probably takes maybe half an hour to 45 minutes to get it all out, but you want to coat it as much as possible. We're doing it on a very rainy day. It has rained all day here, and that's good because the nematodes travel through water channels, so the more moist the lawn is before and after you put this down, the better. Okay, so I'm just gonna let Sabrina apply this all over the lawn. Okay, okay so now you can see that the, that the blue's almost gone out of the container. It isn't full of water anymore, it just has the blue in the bottom. However, the water will keep coming out of the sprayer because it's hooked to the hose. So now that they're, well, there's just a slight more bit blue. So she'll finish that up. Okay, so the blue is all gone out of the container. So Sabrina's going to fill it up again. So this will be half the concentrate because we put four in. Okay, and then she's going to put the top back on. And you can divide your property into four if you want, so you know that you're at least going to get evenly sprayed. Or if you have an area that's more of a problem area, you know it can be put a bit more there. So we've done a quarter of the backyard, or half of the backyard. We're going to do the other half, and then the rest will be for the front. So Sabrina's working her way through, just back and forth, back and forth, really soaking everything. And again, you can even put it in the garden. It's okay. It won't hurt anything in the garden. Don't forget when you're doing this to make sure you get the boulevards as well. Make sure you get right along the edges, right up to the edge of your neighbors. You want as much of your grass done as possible. 
and just keep going over and over and over it. And like I said, make sure it stays nice and moist after and make sure it's really the grass or the lawn is really moist before you put it down as well.